Hey, welcome back and in today's video. Onision has been going through some legal troubles the past few weeks and he's been showing some obvious signs of frustration as YouTubers have been less than nice to him about the whole ordeal. Of, of course, I'm talking about the wetlands fiasco and currently he's been topic of concern about how he has been asking his followers for more money. But was it a joke? I want to thank you guys so much for caring dearly about the environment. Now let's show how much we truly care about supporting a real cause. 100% of which is going towards exactly that what is described here. And he created a GoFundMe, then said, thank you so very much. This will be incredible. If you're new here and you don't know who Nision is, he is a YouTuber that has let his audience down multiple times. His real name is Gregory Jackson and he has been in recent trouble about the wetlands that are behind his house. He uh, brushed it, cleared everything off, uh, made a lot of people mad. The county was after him, and uh, he was showing obvious signs of frustration on Twitter. And now he's got this GoFundMe where he's asking his audience for money. Um, but I'm not sure how serious this really is. There was a, a flood of YouTubers that were making expose videos, of course. Every time Onision does anything, there is a large amount of YouTubers that do this. So many of you truly care about the environment. So many of you have shown concern for my life as of late, and I wanna genuinely say that I'm sorry for any damage that I've done. But I'm sorry isn't good enough. True change needs to actually happen to make this right. And unfortunately, due to my financial situation, well, at least that apology was better than Roscom's apology about uh, the uh, mystery brand scam. That video is also in the description below. Cross-referencing videos, the Repzilla channel is moving up. It really just gets to me because YouTubers have a certain, I believe that YouTubers have a certain degree of responsibility where they, they should uphold the facts and not just say as, <laughs> not just make videos where they can cram as uh, much crap talking about someone as they can in a 10 minute block. I mean, that's what a lot of these videos about an ECN are. And it is devoid of the facts and it is just totally misinformation, mis uh, basically. It could have not been a joke, but I just find it very highly unlikely as it shows signs of uh, comedic tones over the whole video. Uh, but a lot of people took this serious. Just check out, one Twitter user says, Holy crap, this is sickening, get a job. It is a real difficult concept for you. You destroyed protected wetlands, not your fans. Just stop, nobody else should be responsible for paying for it, but you. Another one said, it's so hard to believe he's not trolling, but I know he isn't. You need to ask for your help to make things meet the standard that the world has set for my backyard. People have made YouTube videos showing He's upset with everything that's been going on. Like he's showing shines of frustration, obvious sarcasm. I have to really be on uh, the side of this is trolling. And he himself did say that. Hey guys, um, okay. So I launched a um, GoFundMe for making my wetlands great again. And <laughs> apparently a lot of people didn't get it. Um, I was thinking like maybe I should build a tower in my backyard so people could climb up the tower and look at the entire neighborhood and observe all of the wetlands and all of its beauty. But I felt like that was a little too obvious. So, uh... So he basically was saying that this was a joke. He didn't want to make it super obvious. And, uh... I think a lot of people didn't get it. But some people are thinking maybe this wasn't a joke. Maybe there's more to it as one twitter user says was it really a prank though or are you just saying that because of all the negative feedback you got also using gofundme as a prank is pretty despicable the site is for those who are in need of help the older you get greg the more pathetic your actions become another twitter user saying this is exactly what i was wondering seems a bit convenient that it was all just a prank now however even if it was it still was manipulating others into giving him money and laughing about it as a joke um i can see where they're coming from and i can also see where anision's coming from at this point we really have no idea if this was a joke or not but he he did make the uh, video very obvious that he was uh, 
it was just not in a serious tone. He was dressed up in uh, a suit and tie. The music in the background, it, it, it really, you know, didn't seem serious. Now, if anybody's to be serious about anything about this is the fact that on multiple occasions, across multiple videos, he has shown his unawareness of how important these wetland environments are. Great, sincere concern. One video even got over one million views. My goal at this point is to not just restore and slice. The video that he was talking about that got over one million views was of course a video by Rep Zeon. Not Rep, Zilla, Rep Zeon. And uh, this video was titled, Anision Loses in Court. Now when I originally uh, watched this video. It, it was the reason why I made a video about this because when I was watching his video There really wasn't and I'm not hating on the guy or anything like that. There really just wasn't a lot of information uh, It didn't make sense to me. So one thing I like to do on this channel is uh, Take a lot take the stories and topics and pull them and then Organize them and present them where you guys can better understand it kind of a it has like a better flow So if you're into that don't forget to subscribe with notifications turned on but uh, In this video It did say that he lost in court and throughout the whole video. I never found one one part where Anision was actually in court, but he was involved with actual county repercussions that saying if he did not follow through with the actions that he would uh, and could possibly go to jail to me. So they released this thing saying that I went to court. I never went to court. So the title itself is a lie. It's very confusing. I, I didn't see the video, but he starts it out with like Greggy Poo, which kind of shows you like what they're all about. I found it really underwhelming that a lot of uh, the facts and points that he made were uh, constant criticisms and just straight up attacks and uh, degrading and demeaning of the person that he talks about in the subject of his video without any hint of compassion at all. And I mean, a lot of people love those videos, but I just don't see any point of, of being a carbon copy of every other YouTube drama channel on the platform. But what was really concerning to me is when Anision says this. This guy, he, when I got a divorce, he released my divorce documents to the public. And that was a response to me, like, debating a sock puppet back in the day. It was just a funny thing. I asked my audience if they wanted me to debate a sock puppet because he said he wanted to debate me publicly. And then he backed out. Um, and so I said, well, I'll just debate a sock instead in your place because I, I'm a comedian. So I think that's pretty funny. I asked my audience if they wanted me to do that. They said yes, so I did it. But he said if I did it, that he'd release my divorce documents. And I did it because I don't, you know, I don't respond to blackmail, you know. Um, anyway, so... So, this is really concerning to me because what this is, is a Nisian claiming that uh, Rep Zeon attempted to blackmail him. And uh, th when I heard that, I was like, whoa, I, like, I, this, this is speculation. I don't know if this is true, but this is the, straight from... Uh, Onision himself saying this, I feel like this is a pretty big deal and probably needs a little bit more looked into. Uh, but we'll save that for another video at another time. So I wanted to give you this opportunity to truly put your money where your mouth is. Please help support this campaign by showing how genuine you are and contributing whatever is financially comfortable for you. Please don't stress yourself. Let me read this for a second. This says about half a year ago, my yard was consumed by plants and they either stung, poked, or stabbed my little children. For my children's safety, I cleared out many of these plants, and as a result, my kids are safer than ever. Hmm. He even he then goes on to claim that the housing community had repeatedly instructed him to remove the trees. And of course, we don't know if this is the case. Uh, if this is in fact a prank, and this is all mock and made for comedic purposes, but one Twitter user pointed out, GoFundMe policy says content or campaigns that are fraudulent, misleading, inaccurate, dishonest, or impossible are against their guidelines and will be removed. Uh, so it shows to the fact that there's a possibility that he might have been serious about this. And if there is any possibility that he could be serious about this, 
then GoFundMe probably reached out to him and said, hey, this is this, and we're going to have to remove this, and then he might have manipulatively used that as an opportunity. Watching uh, YouTubers expose him about this uh, as it was happening, uh, they were saying that, oh, well, he did all this stuff, and then he, yeah, he canceled his GoFundMe, but he kept all the money, uh, but that's not even true itself, as the GoFundMe trust and safety team reached out and said, thanks for confirming so quickly, Gregory. I have issued refunds for your campaign. Onision's wetlands make them better than ever, so your donors will receive an email confirmation letting them know they will get 100% of their money back in three to seven days, and that's uh, an Onision email, so they did in fact get their videos back and I, I I'm, that goes back to youtubers you guys have a a certain degree of responsibility and you don't just need to make content that seems uh, appealing by making uh, overwhelming assumptions without backed evidence one Twitter user posted this comment that was put 23 hours after he made the video saying so which route will you take when no one donates are you going to pretend it was all a big joke or are you going to have a tantrum about the fact that no one really cares about the environment and uh they said looks like he went the jokes route and that was before he confirmed that it was a joke but he did take the opportunity to say uh if you want the onision forums back now's your chance to do it saying that the real gofundme was to fund a new forum and a lot of people were very quick to point out that one twitter user posted this saying youtuber onision runs creepy forum where young teenage girls post photos in their underwear and that was like a uh forum where he uh, had people fans post their pictures where he rated them this or that when I looked into it, the majority of the females were actually of age and not underage. And he specifically had disclaimers uh, saying that this was a mature uh, forum and that underage was not allowed. So if you haven't been keeping up, basically what has happened is he got in trouble for uh, clearing out some bushes behind his house, pushing them into the wetlands, which is a violation uh, in Pierce County, Washington and uh, pretty much a violation in all, around all wetlands. You're not supposed to disrupt anything that might be harmful to the environment. And then he got really frustrated and it seems like he became more and more frustrated over time. And then he created this uh, gag where he, uh, it, was, it was, to me, honestly, it was clearly a joke and he was clearly uh, just exercising his frustrations and he was asking money from his audience but again a lot of people might not have known a lot of people don't pick up on sarcasm and i'm told that people actually did donate but then again he did refund it and whether the re he refunded it because uh it was the proper thing to do or the fact that gofundme caught his campaign as fraudulent and then was going to delete it uh that's all up to matter of opinions i reckon the thing is, is that there's so many YouTubers that jump on stories like this from creators like Onision with misinformation. They do not do the research. They just make hate videos because they know everyone wants to hear people talk bad about the Internet's most hated people. And that's not right. Uh, it's a perpetuation of so many wrong things and that's not what we do here on this channel so make sure that what what make sure that oh yeah hey i'm uh gonna do a q a on instagram so it's the dot repzilla i'll put it in the description below uh, definitely go over there and follow that and let's see how that goes i've never done one before but as interesting as the video is there's always something that's more interesting to me that's right you guys that i want to know if you think so why don't you go ahead and leave your creative and interest in your spots in the comment box below and thumbs up for those likes and as always brothers and sisters i will see you in the next video I'm wearing a hat because I got a really bad haircut. I mean, everybody says they like it. I don't like it. It just, I'm, I'm thinking about learning how to cut my own hair because I'm so sick and tired of bad haircuts. Like it gets on my nerves so bad. What, what do you do? Oh, do you guys have your uh, official Rep Squad membership? t-shirt i know you do because you're ripping if you're not ripping you're how do you do that all you gotta do is subscribe notification turn up be in the comment section every single video because i'm gonna be there greg the cat's gonna be there and the rest of the red sock community as well and i expect to see you there too because this channel loves you it's time for coffee